before I begin to speak about my subject proper let me make a few introductory remarks. I feel I shall have great difficulties in communicating my thoughts to you and I think some of them may be diminished by mentioning them to you beforehand. The first one, which almost I need not mention, is that English is not my native tongue and my expression therefore often lacks that precision and subtlety which would be desirable if one talks about a difficult subject. All I can do is to ask you to make my task easier by trying to get at my meaning in spite of the faults which I will constantly be committing against the English grammar. The second difficulty I will mention is this, that probably many of you come up to this lecture of mine with slightly wrong expectations. And to set you around in this point I will say a few words about the reason for choosing the subject I have chosen. One of your former secretary honored me by asking me to read a paper in our society. My first thought was that I would start to read it and my second thought was that if I was to have the opportunity to speak to you I should speak about something which I am keen on communicating with an open crowd I should not misuse this opportunity to hear you all lecture about it. Steady, logic. I call this a misuse, for to explain the scientific matter to you would need the course of lectures and not an hour's paper. Another alternative would have been to give you what's called a popular scientific lecture, that is the lecture intended to make you believe that you understand the thing which actually you don't understand. Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you.